Hey, welcome back, friends. If you want to join the friends, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today, if you can't tell by this giant bloodwood tree next to me, we are going to be making the criminal bolts. Uh, this is higher level. It does require level 85 wood cutting as well as level 93 fletching. 93 fletching can be assisted, but you are going to be in the wilderness, so I would highly recommend making sure your friend is very, very nice before asking him to assist you in something in the wilderness. Uh, basically, the way that these bloodwood trees work is you go chop them, and you have to stay within a certain radius of them, otherwise they will disintegrate to dust until you actually make them into the criminal bolts themselves. So you can't actually take these bloodwood tree logs and run away with them. So, what we're going to have to be doing is buying the bolt tips from Mama, Mommy Rimba's shop here. Uh, first off, there is two options to buying them. You can either buy them separately as packs of 1 through 500, or you could buy them as bolt tip packs. Uh, if we examine this really quick, it will show or tell you that you get 50 bolt tips per. I would personally recommend having at least 500 bolt tips if you plan on doing this one time. That is going to set you back about 100,000 GP. Uh, I recommend leaving them in the bank when you're running into the wilderness, but... You do need them to actually craft the logs. I'll show you exactly how I plan on banking throughout the wilderness to get the least amount of risk possible. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is buy 500 criminal bull tips, and I will come back as soon as I get to the Chaos Altar. That's going to be our first stop for a Bloodwood Tree. Okay, so we are at the Chaos Altar here. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is before you actually go into the wilderness, you probably want to hop to a lower population world. Uh, in general, they put you on a higher population world, so just kind of scroll down the list, and we are going to quick hop to a lower population world here, just to try to prevent to get PK'd as much as possible. Uh, we are only bringing one item into the wilderness, so it's not that big of a deal, and worst comes to worst, you could always just log off before anybody actually hits you, so not that big uh, but just go ahead and go to a lower population world just to prevent getting pk'd as much as possible uh, one thing i didn't mention already is that you are going to want to have the best hatchet possible the better hatchet that you have the more logs you are going to be getting from this uh, and it is limited by time limit uh, they only respawn every six hours or so so you're going to want to use your best hatchet. I personally have the crystal hatchet. Uh, dragon hatchet should be fine. I don't know if augmenting it actually helps at all. Uh, but I've gotten quite a few um, quite a few logs before from a couple of these locations. Uh, I personally always just withdraw 200 per criminal bolts. It should be enough to get all of the logs tipped. Uh, each log does give you 10 bolts. And then you just tip them with the per criminal bolt tips. Uh, one thing that I did already mention, but I want to mention again, make sure you do not run away from this tree. I think if you go more than like three or four squares away, it will make it so that you will lose all of your criminal bolt tips. Uh, and that is obviously bad. That means you're not going to be making any money. This one was a pretty unlucky one. I believe four is the minimum that you can get from this tree. It's the least that I've ever gotten. I thought five was the minimum, but I'm down to four right now. Uh, as you can see, Simon here, he's a nice little bank right in the wilderness. Uh, we are going to bank everything that we have except for that hatchet. Uh, one thing I also do want to mention is I personally turn auto-retaliate off whenever I'm doing this just to make sure I do not get PK'd for anything of value. The only thing I bring into the wilderness is one item. And I, even if I get PK'd, I don't really mind losing a little bit of money. Uh, I don't expect to be losing this hatchet, but I don't mind losing a couple of bolt tips. Uh, so keep in mind that you are going to be potentially losing those bolt tips. Uh, if you do have the, I think it's the hard or the elite diary set for the wilderness done, you can choose the location that you're going to be teleporting with this obelisk. Otherwise, it's going to be quite a bit of a run or you're going to have to worry about RNG. We are going to have to be going to these locations. You're going to have to be going to level 44 wilderness as level as well as the level 50 wilderness. I personally always go to the level 50 wilderness one first, just because it's the less risky one. So, uh, it just kind of reduces your risk as much as possible. Also, there's a lot of PKers around here at the Chaos Ellie, so that's why I go here first. Uh, if I get PK'd, I like to just get PK'd early and then just be able to come back on a different world. 
Again, there is a bank relatively close to this one. It's going to be a little bit further away. Uh, it's going to be Edward over here. He's going to be on this island. Uh, this is, again, just eliminating their risk as much as possible. You are going to want to make sure you're not having the criminal bolt tips in your inventory as much as possible because they do go for 200 GP apiece, if you didn't see in the store over there when I first started this video. So next thing you're going to do is you're just going to run over here, uh, chop down this Bloodwood tree. Uh, these, this one does give you, I think, like one or two more than the Chaos Altar usually. Um, it's usually not a whole lot. This is going to be the second best tree to be chopping from because it's the second highest wilderness. Uh, this one gave me five, so I'm getting pretty unlucky this round, getting four off the Chaos Altar and five off the last one. Uh, I will go ahead and make these really quick and again you are going to be wanting to bank as soon as possible make sure you're not running away with any of these bolt shafts in your inventory either they do count as the logs as well uh, they will degrade to dust if you run away from the tree with them in your inventory uh, next thing you're going to do is just run back over to here run over to Edward this is going to be the riskiest part of the entire guide, so be aware you may lose anything that you bring with you to this next tree. Uh, I personally always bring about 300 bolt tips to this next tree. Unfortunately, there is not a bank especially close to this one. If I'm going to die, I'm expecting to lose these 350 per criminal bolt tips. That's just the way it is. That being said, 350 per criminal bolt tips with the price of per criminal bolts right now actually isn't too bad. Uh, we're going to be going to level 44 wilderness right here. Um, about 350 per criminal bolt tips is actually only like one, maybe two logs worth of per criminal bolts. So even if you are running through the wilderness and you lose 300, 400 per criminal bolt tips, but you got per criminal bolts from the last two trees you're still gonna be running a net positive so it's not like you're gonna be losing all your money or anything doing this but there is a chance of losing a little bit of money while doing this so just be aware that that is a possibility anytime you're going into the wilderness you can lose a lot of money unfortunately uh, we are just basically running along this wall and there is a bloodwood tree right here right by the little lava pit that looks like a little soul or gothic symbol or whatever they're supposing it to be looking like um all you're gonna do is chop this tree uh this one usually does have the most logs so i'm not gonna bore you with letting me chop this all down i'll just cut back to when i actually finish up all these logs okay again got a little bit unlucky with that one it was actually only eight i've actually gotten 33 logs from this one time uh, I was only carrying around 200 per criminal bull tips at the time, so oh, getting 33 was absolutely insane. I had to stop after 20, then come back, and I got another 13. Uh, so you can get a lot of logs from this one. Uh, typically, I think 7 or 8 is the minimum that you will be getting. Uh, you'd expect to get about 10 to 15 from this tree from my personal experience in the last couple of days doing this. Uh, but again, all you're doing is tipping the bull tips, same as all the other ones. Uh, and the bank here is going to be a little bit further away and it's going to be a little bit risky again. Uh, if you want to, you can bring a teleport and just use the obelisk and get to a lower level wilderness. But I personally run up to the major arena bank right here. Uh, there's typically not PKers in this area. I know that there were back in the day when the criminal bolts first came out. This was the best place to get PK'd at. Um, just because... First off, these webs right here, and you're in very high level wilderness, there's not really a good way of teleporting out if they tele-block you. Uh, you literally have to run all the way to level 1 wilderness. So you're probably dead if you get PK'd in this area. That's why we're not bringing too much risk. We're not bringing all of our bolt tips or anything like that. Uh, you just run over here, and he is a bank. Uh, there are four other locations. I'm going to go over them extremely quickly. They're all outside of the wilderness. Uh, these are not going to be giving you as many... Uh, as many bolts though it's only going to be giving you like one or two logs a piece so it's up to you whether or not you want to continue this guide or if you just want to be done with the amount of criminal bolts that you made right here unfortunately this round was only about 150 uh, but it's up to you if you want to continue on the first non-wilderness tree is going to be in the garage uh, dungeon whatever this 
little dungeoneering dungeon. Uh, it's going to be in Prifinus, so that means you need Within the Light to be unlocked, as well as uh, level 95 dungeoneering. If you have level 93 woodcutting already, uh, you probably should be going for 95 dungeoneering anyway. So, kind of nice, just get this unlocked, and you will see that there is a Bloodwood tree right in the middle of the resource dungeon. Uh, if you don't already do this, actually, Divine Locations are pretty nice to do, so you can always just do this while you're doing Divine Locations. Uh, you'll see here in a couple seconds that typically they don't give you a whole lot of logs, though. I think the most I've ever gotten is like five or six. Uh, this one gave me three, so as you can see, non-wilderness trees don't really give you as many uh, Bacriminal Bolts as you usually would have. Does come with the added benefit of not being PK'd here, though. Uh, the next place that we are going to go is going to be in uh, Darkmire. Darkmire requires you to have completed the entire vampire quest set, uh, minus the last like master quest that they already had unlocked. So you are going to have to have pretty high amount of vampire quests done. I think it's the one that has obviously the arboretum and everything. Uh, if it, it is up to you whether or not you actually want to wear the outfit so that these things don't yell at you human. Uh, but realistically, there's not going to be any Vire Watches over here most of the time, so you could just not really care about it. If you are in combat, though, you cannot make these bolts, so that is something to be concerned about. But they don't deal a whole lot of damage, so not a big deal. Uh, I did get here from with a Draken's Medallion. It's the item from that quest, so if you have a Draken's Medallion, you can get here extremely quickly. Just number four, my, or Dark Mire, on the teleport. The next one we're going to be doing is going to be using the fairy rings. Uh, the way that we're going to be using the fairy rings is I bring a ring of slaying around with me. And this, if you go to the Relica Slayer dungeon right here, it will teleport you extremely close to a fairy ring. Disregard Fenrir right here. He's just going to be trying to PK me. Uh, he doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, so you don't really have to worry about him, even though the event is going on right now. Uh, and you are going to want to go to the Glacor Caves. Uh, this does require Ritual of the Majorot, so again, another extremely high-level quest. Uh, these three are all extremely high-level quests to actually get access to. Uh, you do need Ritual of the Majorot to get to this. Uh, Bloodwood Tree, you don't just need it for the quick teleport. You, I'm pretty sure, need to have Ritual of the Majorot just to even get onto this little platform right here. Uh, and then you run a little bit, I believe, is to the west here. Yep, and here's the Bloodwood Tree. Uh, as you can see, again, I'm not getting a whole lot of trees from this. Uh, not getting a whole lot of logs. Uh, two from the first one, three from the second one, two from the third one. So, like I said, this part is entirely up to you. You're not going to be getting a ton of Bacriminal Bolts from this. So it depends on the price of Bacriminal Bolts and how much effort you're willing to put into getting the money for them. Uh, the last one is going to be in the Soul Wars area. Uh, quickest way is just going to be to teleport to the Edgeville uh, Lodestone. Uh, you can do this when you're about to go into the wilderness if you are planning on doing them, so it's kind of a lossless tree to kind of do quickly. If you're going to be doing any of them, this is probably going to be the best one to do outside of the wilderness. Typically only gives you like one or two logs, but you're already going to be teleporting to Edgeville to get to the first um, tree anyway in the wilderness. Uh, and this one's actually being pretty resilient here. Um, you're already going to be teleporting to Edgeville to get into the wilderness to start out with. So you might as well just come into the Soul Wars area really quickly. And as you can see, you sometimes get super lucky with these. Uh, there's, I don't think, a technical maximum to the amount that you can actually get. The wilderness ones do give you a minimum quantity. And this is kind of what you're hoping for, is that one tree that's going to be giving you a lot of logs. Um, seeing as how many logs this is giving me, I'm probably just going to cut back when I finish them up. So th I actually got 13 logs from that one, so pretty nice. I got 130 per criminal bolts. Uh, that's a lot of money on the GE right now, so very nice. And it's the first time that I can show you that you actually only can fletch 10 of them at a time. Uh, so on this fletching part. Uh, usually you can do all the logs into these bolt shafts extremely quickly, but if you have more than 10 or more than 100 bolt shafts, it only makes 100 bolt shafts into criminal bolts at a time. So be aware that if you just do it one time, you may be running away with some bolt 
tips or some bolt shafts still in your inventory. If you do that, they will disappear. Uh, probably when you get about here or so, they start disappearing. So you can get like one or two spaces away without worrying, but if you get too far away, then you do lose your bolts. Do want to mention that all the non-wilderness ones, they are not limited at all to the minimum that you can get, and they're not limited to the maximum you can get. So you could get one, or you could get, like you just saw, 13. The wilderness ones do have a limit of, I think, four or five that you can get minimum, depending on the tree that you're at, uh, and all the way up to at least 33. I personally have gotten 33 from one tree before. So very, very nice to do them in the wilderness if you don't want to worry too much about PKing. Or getting PK'd at least. If you guys all enjoy this, I'd love it if you leave a like down below so you can show all the support for this video. Also, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my future content. I'm planning on testing out the Becriminal Bolts here in a couple of days. Uh, planning on Wednesday or Friday to get that out for you guys. So make sure you subscribe so you can see that. And as always, leave a comment down below seeing how many logs you got from some random tree, like getting 13 from Soul Wars that usually only gives you one or something like that, or getting 33 from the one in level 50 wilderness. As always, though, have a good one.